Pin Yike, one six scale robotic nude body by Pew Pew Gun. This is gonna be an interesting video, folks. Meet the combat version Pin Yike robot. Hello everybody, Donobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. We are visiting Pew Pew Gun's one six scale robotic nude body combat model something something. I don't think it has an exact model, but uh, Regardless of that, this is a very cool looking robot. What I'm holding in my hand is the uh, VIP membership card. Uh, I guess I was one of the early pre-order customers uh, last year. I think I've had this on pre-order for about a year and they finally fulfilled it. So I'm pretty excited. I was very excited to get this combat type robot uh, pinyike. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Uh, I just like robots. I really, really do. I, I love robots and I, I love uh, heavily articulated robots, especially in the 1-6 scale. So I was really looking forward to getting this from Pew Pew Gun. And I believe this is their first figures from their new toy line. Um, it came bubble wrapped, but the box still came beat up as hell. So uh, expect that. Overall, looking at the robot, it looks phenomenal. It looks like a very aggressive combat type robot that uh, is designed to break up riots and, and so forth. I do have some issues. There's a robot. This particular figure does have quite a few issues and I, I'm going to uh, blame it on quality control issues. It doesn't feel very well built. It, uh, it feels rickety. Uh, it doesn't feel like it was designed properly. Uh, I'd love to show you what the lights look on, but uh, they didn't include any batteries. Uh, that would, that's one of my gripes right there. They lose a few points for that. Too. Uh, but it is easy to pull the helmet off and put the batteries on, but it'd be nice if they would have in included it. It, when you, up close and personal, it, and you start going through the, through, through the rigors of testing it, it just doesn't feel very well built, very well put. Especially the, the hand there. I'm just moving the hand and, and it pops right off. It doesn't feel very secure. Uh, the the other word I'm looking for is is flimsy. I can see their intentions uh, when they designed this robot. They wanted something unique, something aggressive, something very badass uh, to compete in the one six scale community. I just wish they would have spent a little bit more time in the R and R department in, in the uh, in the research on this. I like the articulation. The problem is is that for example this ankle here, the 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 little foot pad ends up breaking off later on during the video and that's that's concerning it's an easy fix with crazy glue but I shouldn't have to worry about something like that for a figure of this price I forgot what I uh, pre-ordered this but I did pre-order the combat and then the regular version I do like that they designed the robot with its reactor in the back versus in the front kind of like Iron Man uh, they do recommend you use tweezers to pull the uh, the reactor out. I'm guessing this is a plutonium rod, a decaying plutonium rod that gives off heat. So if I had to speculate, I'm assuming that this robot is powered by a therm thermal generator, thermal electric generator, meaning as the plutonium rod decays, it gives off heat and that's how it generates electricity. So um, that's not even efficient, I would think. Uh, the robot is electric and, and I don't think it'd be really strong versus Tony Stark's uh, iron suits that run on a fusion reactor. Probably generates a lot more power. Here's another uh, another gripe, the base, the generic base. This is a really attractive, good looking robot and they give you a generic base to display, which doesn't even really work in my opinion. You do have to kind of jimmy it. Uh, the ankle, there it is, it does fall off right there, kind of showing you on it. Uh, again, it's an easy fix, but I shouldn't have to worry about that. And uh, it gives you the the sense that it's just not very well built. So yeah, that's that's just that's really disappointing. This is the combat helmet here, and even that doesn't seem to fit very snugly the way it should feel or and and snug and so forth. You can kind of see it, it. It's just not very well designed and very well placed. Granted, they give you tons of articulation. I just wish they would have done a little bit better job. And you know, everybody's going to compare this to the 1000 toys from Japan, uh, which is everybody's favorite right now, alternative robot <laughs> versus an iron suit. 
uh, 1000 Toys, they did a good job with their with their figure. I, it's, it's one of my favorites. They really knocked it out of the park as far as quality and articulation. Um, I still enjoy this robot. I still enjoy this combat version from Pew Pew Gun. I feel that because this is an early company uh, starting off, I think their quality is going to get better, and I think it's it's they're in the right track. I just wish that they would have um, just taken a little bit more time and designing this robot a little bit more better, a little bit more secure, a little bit more durable. Again, everybody's just going to compare it to the 1000 toys. Um, overall, on a scale from 1 to 10, I probably would give it a six and a half it has the potential to be so much better this is the regular version this is the the regular version of the combat version the, the I think it's called the mass produced and uh, it's 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 an attractive I like how the the paint scheme and the white reflects on it and, and so forth uh, right there the ankle is broken on this one too so uh, they're losing points they're they're losing my confidence I, I don't have these figures aren't giving me the peace of mind I, I deserve when I'm spending this type of money on on these particular products. Just because the one six scale uh, figure collectible market is just so competitive, uh, they really need to step up their game. Everybody, everyone, everybody compares the one six scale community to the Grandmaster, which is Hot Toys. So if you're going to enter this arena, you really, really want to focus on your quality, your 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 craftsmanship, your design. Uh, because you can end up crashing and burning really, really fast. The fact that I have to snap the head on here is not very encouraging to a customer. And when they see this video, I'm not knocking it. I, I just, I just wish they would have just spent a little bit more time in designing this. That being said, I'm still going to keep an eye on the company and monitor the the forum boards and see if they improve on the quality, see if they improve on the design. I'm gonna end up keeping these robots. I, they're, they're really cool. They're very, very cool, attractive robots. Even though they run on a uh, thermal electric generator, and I just don't think in a robot uh, that would supply a lot of power compared to a fusion reactor. Um, again, this is annoying. I wish I could show you uh, what, what, the, uh, what the lights look lit up uh, in this video. And uh, oh, here's here's something. Uh, the shoulder pads uh, fell off. But again, you you need a bottle of crazy glue. I don't have crazy glue. I'm actually after this video is done, I'm gonna go out and Target and, and buy a bottle of crazy glue, uh, just because there are parts that are just flying right off. Um, I don't want to. I mean, I can spend another five minutes in the video showing you what else snaps on and off. I'll end up probably going back and kind of doing some maintenance on it, like a real robot, and uh, kind of gluing those parts, the ankles, and and so forth. It, it's a shame, you know, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm, I'm going to stick with the 6.5 uh, just because I could see where they were going with this. I can see the design. I can see the uniqueness. It's the uniqueness that attracted me last year to this. Um, I even like the the acrylic dome helmet. That's, you know, when I saw the production photos, I'm like, oh, cool. That looks like uh, one of those drones from Total Recall, uh, the the remake version, you know. Uh, I like it. I mean, it's it's... You know, from far, it's kind of like when, from, when you look at it from far and you squint your eyes, I'm like, oh, this is a badass robot. This is pretty damn cool. It's just when you kind of get up close and you start posing on it and kind of playing with it, you're like, oh, it doesn't feel very well built. But you, in the end, you can kind of see where they were going with it. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I would recommend this to folks. I don't If you're a big robot fanatic like I am, I say go ahead and get it. it I honestly I, I would probably wait to to get their quality back up to par. Um, you know what I did figure out though is that I did use my soap reactor and I did jimmy one of the uh, the power nodes into the helmet so that I could at least at the end of this video show you what it looks lit up. Looks pretty good. Guys, Donobi2 here. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. See ya.